Be a St. Patrick's Day. You didn't know I was doing a video, did you? <laughs> I think she was like, it's just Doug, and they're yelling again. Happy St. Patrick's Day! It's Mum by Doug, and... Well, that's sad, isn't it? I have nothing in my cup. Um, it's all gone. But I'm wearing my green. Green and blue sweater. Gosh, look how low the camera is. How high the camera is. Okay, that's better. Um... I wanted to come on here just for a minute and talk about uh, something that comes up frequently when I talk about budgeting and stuff like that. So, um, one of the things that people always tend to do in reaction to me talking about, uh, you know, saving money through coupons and budgeting and doing this envelope thing that we do um, to control our spending, is they're always, you know, like, oh, you have to restrict yourself and you know, oh, you have to be so disciplined, and I just like to buy what I want, and that kind of stuff. And I understand that, um, because that's how we've always been with, with our money. We just get what we want, and um, as long as we have money, everything's okay. But, um, you know, one of the things that people don't realize is it really isn't that much of a sacrifice. And so one of the things when we started looking at our budget, one of the things that we found to be... Uh, a really high expense in our, especially our grocery budget, was the amount of money that we're spending on like snack foods, stuff that's not even really a meal, um, just snack foods. And what I've found since we started this process uh, is that I can still have uh, everything that I that I always have liked and I've always had. Um, now we might have to limit ourselves, uh, but that's just normal and moderation is good anyway. So to prove my point, I thought I would give you an example of how I might have a night of snacking. Um, and I probably should have done a how we did it before and how we do it now. Uh, but just to give you an idea of how we might do snacking on a regular weeknight, uh, I think I've told y'all before, I am a chip person. I like peanuts. I like um, good cheese and uh, candies and so forth. And so I'll show you, you know, what, what kind of thing I might have on a night like this. And so I've fixed up a plate, um, and y'all tell me, it doesn't look like I'm depriving myself. Okay, so what we have here um, is a single combo, um, cheddar cheese flavored. And then I've got this, um, probably everyone knows these as snow caps. They're also called gourmet nonpareils. They're chocolate covered in candy. And then um, I actually have two peanuts. Well, really it's one peanut that I broke in half to make it seem like two um, because I didn't want it to seem like, you know, if, if it's just one, then it goes really fast. So I like to stretch it out over two um, bites. And then this is a piece of um, store brand, you know, Swiss cheese. And I'm careful and selective when I, when I get my snacks. I like to pick the best one out of the bag or out of the package and so I purposely picked a piece of Swiss cheese with a hole to remind me that it's you know good cheese and everything so and of course um, also one of the things that we do with our budgeting is just trying to consume less and so for a snack I don't really need more of a napkin than this uh, you know you can take a regular sized napkin and cut that thing way down because I mean really how big is my mouth right that's, I mean, I don't need more than that, really. So, you know, our paper towels and napkins are gonna last a lot longer now. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. For all of you who think budgeting means you have to, you know, cut back, uh, that might be true, but look at me. I'm sitting pretty good here with my junk food tonight. So, all right, well, peace out, Westside Vogue. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe I've given you some ideas on how to limit yourself. Um, in your snacking, and I hope you didn't think I was serious, right? You, you didn't, you didn't think I was serious. I'm going to be eating like 10 more pounds of snacks tonight. I don't care the cost.